Uganda's state-run tax body says it has lowered the duties charged on certain vehicle imports. The Uganda Revenue Authority has confirmed an average 15% reduction, which it hopes will not only help consumers but also boost the automotive sector. If the car, uh, the value was $8,000 CIF and it has been revised to $6,200, the base on which tax is computed, the cost insurance and freight Mombasa, will, will, uh, will reduce and ultimately it will turn into a benefit in terms of the import duties paid. The government says the decision follows wide consultation with auto industry players following a low sell season. While the tax cuts could have come as a relief to the car dealers here, some say the situation is still volatile especially with the unstable exchange rate against the dollar. Many still fear that they'll continue to struggle to keep afloat. Before we were expecting that they will be increasing on the lower models, but when they have reduced, definitely it has really helped for us. But now we are waiting for the dollar rate to, to become stable and then we will be okay, we'll be in the business. Although the revisions have already come into effect, some customers are yet to feel the impact. Dealers say because their stock had been purchased under the old tax arrangement, it is difficult to pass on the price changes immediately. I expected something different and I came actually excited thinking that I would find something at a lower price because it, you know, we're coming to the festive season, but it was all the same, no difference. According to the Uganda government, Uganda imports an estimated 2,800 vehicles every month. Most of them are used and come mainly from Japan, with a small percentage from Europe. Leon Senyange, CCTV, Kampala, Uganda.